Black people, I swear, it just ain't no pleasing, y'all. Some of y'all ain't never satisfied. Netflix and Kenya Barris, creator of Blackish on ABC, are catching a lot of backlash for Barris' new show on Netflix called Black As F-U-C-K. Many people are complaining that the show ain't black at all. Wanna talk about it? Here you go. told me I had to go watch Black as F-U-C-K from the creator of Blackish that the show was so funny. Oh my God, it was so funny. And if you like Blackish, you'll like it. It's a grown version of Blackish. It's Blackish with cuss words. She had them big it up. Big it up. Quiet as it's kept, honey. I couldn't get through 15 minutes of it without turning it off. Last night, I went back to it and tried to watch it again. And it's just not my cup of tea. Now, here's the thing, right? Art, music, film, TV, food, fashion, it is all subjective. There's a group of people who are going to like it, and there are a group of people who are not. It just whatever tickles your fancy. But there's a third group of people in this black S-F-U-C-K debate who feel that the show isn't black at all. And for me, therein lies the problem. And that's the conversation that I want to have. Black comes in many shades, colors, experiences, social economic backgrounds. And unfortunately, many of us and the media have adopted blackness to be cookout friendly. What do I mean about that? I mean the Tyler Perry shows, Big Mama's House, Set It Off, Menace to Society, you know, people who know who Frankie Beverly and Maze is, eat barbecue ribs with potato salad, you know what I'm saying, who don't let dogs in their kitchen. We've come to know black to be one thing, black like this and not like this, real down home, you know what I'm saying, knows who Gladys Knight's and the Pips is, we've come to recognize that's being black heavy soul and when something comes short of being cookout friendly we begin to question its blackness without hesitation black is does not meet the cookout litmus test it doesn't but we've got to recognize the fact that there is a complete other demographic of people out there who show up in the world as black who don't meet the criteria for the cookout but are still treated as black people by the majority and still have a black experience. Everybody didn't grow up in a down home southern environment. Everybody didn't grow up using Ebonics and slang. Every black person don't know what collard greens and neck bones is and oxtails. Every black person didn't grow up listening to soul music. Every black person didn't grow up drinking red Kool-Aid. There is a demographic of people out there who deviate from that. And I believe that is who black is, black is, is talking to. It is talking to that group of black people. And as black people, those of us who are more Martin, living single, New York, undercover based, we've got to step back and make allowance for those people to have representation in the media. Many people feel as though this was a black show centered around whiteness or a black show made for white people. But here's the funny thing, right? This is a show that is based on Kenya Barris's family with Kenya Barris playing himself. With that being said, the show gets no more authentic to his black experience than it could possibly be. Now, if y'all wanted to have a debate about Kenya Barris being an actor, then that's a whole other video. I think him playing himself is rather self-serving and as far as I'm concerned, his acting is not the best. But to be fair, it gets no more authentic to his 
black experience in America than him playing himself and making a show about his family. Same thing with Rashida Jones. Rashida Jones damn sure ain't a white woman despite the fact that she gives her aura very much gives white woman, but she definitely shows up in the world as other. She may not show up as the traditional black, or she may not give us Michelle Obama or Oprah, but she is a black woman who has an experience other than that of Caucasian. Now, yes, she is close in proximity to Caucasian people, and she probably reaps a lot of the benefits of being culturally ambiguous, but we cannot negate the fact that there is a subset of the black community that are half black, half white, who share the experience that Rashida Jones and her character has, AKA Kenya Bears' his wife. And I hope I'm saying his last name properly. So again, Kenya Bears, Rashida Jones, and the family that's being displayed on black as fuck, uh, they do represent a demo of us out there. Uh, what else I got? Um, in closing about this, because this don't require a lengthy, lengthy video, I want to urge us to be careful expressing our disdain for black film projects and mass numbers because we've only got a limited variety to choose from. I was one of those people when I first saw Black as Fuck, my knee jerk reaction was to get on social media and be like, child, this shit ain't even black. Child, what is this shit? Because it did not entertain me. I don't find it interesting and I am not interested. While I do think that he did a very good job of like making a lot of cultural references and tying it into his historical reference and relevance, did an excellent job of doing that. Especially when he explained why black people are so into dressing and how it dates back to the slaves. A master flaunting the slaves around on Sunday in our Sunday best because it was a representation of the slave master's wealth. I did not know that. He does a very good job with tidbits and nuggets like that and there is something for somebody to get from this program. It just ain't me. It ain't my cup of tea. But we have to be careful being black, coming out in droves, expressing disdain for black projects because we don't have a lot of them to choose from uh, from the get-go. And the gag is everybody not black like this. Some people are black like this and they deserve representation in the media. So it's Freestyle Friday. Some of y'all wanted me to talk about, you know, what was going on in the backlash about black as fuck. That's what I got. Ain't got no more. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll call y'all hoes later. Bye.